Good eye, you bloody dickheads. Bromi fucking Bogan back again for another Dinky Die review. Hope you're all having a great day. By the order of the Peaky Blonders, I've got something here. It's a bit fucking old school. Got me pipe, got me cap, ready for a stroll along the canal. Just a walk in a ponder. All right, that's enough. I can't fucking keep it up any longer. <laughs> Feel free to leave uh, a comments on uh, how shit my accent was, or if you thought it was a fair crack, then uh, we'd love to hear that too. <laughs> anyway, dickheads, uh, this is one I picked up over in France at the Expo. Uh, it's made by a French company. It is a beautiful Zebrano wood with a DNA 60 in there. Single 18 fucking six day. <laughs> <laughs> and it does come with this ridiculous drip tip, uh, which, as you would probably expect, does kind of kill the flavour a little bit. But if you've got a nice sort of strong liquid, then, uh, you know, it's not so bad. I've been mostly using it with uh, this fella here that I've had for a while, bit of a shorter gooseneck, but still very pipe-like. Now, if you're wondering what the tank is that I'm using, I'll be doing a full review on that very soon. It is uh, the Mocha Light RTA. That'll be coming up very fucking soon. Before we get any further, though, as fucking always, we got to crack a fucking beer. <laughs> Today, we got one from Siren Craft Brew. It is the Pompel Macello or Macello, a juicy grapefruit sour IPA. A zingy sour IPA hopped with a grapefruit packed hop profile of Simcoe. Talus and mosaic, accentuated with grapefruit zest and juice for a good measure. Lactose rounds things out with a sweet and smooth touch. It is six fucking percent, and uh, Siren are brewing over in, I think it's Berkshire? Yeah, Berkshire, uh, here in the UK. Uh, well, let's fucking crack into it. Let's drink a beer. Let's drink it. Fucking beautiful. Oh yeah, certainly got a nice grapefruit aroma to it. Fucking cheers. Ooh, zesty. That is very fucking zesty. That is delicious. It's exactly what the fucking can says. You're getting zesty, grapefruit, hoppy IPA flavors, and then it finishes with a real tangy sort of sour. It's got a, a proper, yeah, nice little pucker on the end there. Real nice. Super crisp. Super refreshing, that real nice sort of dry, sour flavor to it, and yeah, very citrusy. Loads of grapefruit coming through there. Hoppiness, pininess in there, but more of a, that tangy sort of hop flavor. That'll go down real fucking well when this uh, weather eventually warms up, <laughs> if it ever really does. Let's pair her up with a fucking liquid. Another treat I picked up in Paris. This one is from New Vape, uh, a new company to me. Uh, it is called Bloody Holly, and it is a Italian blood orange and passion fruit flavor. Tried this one at the show, and I instantly fucking loved it. I love a citrusy, tangy uh, vape, and this one has exactly that. It tastes like blood oranges, and there is a difference between an orange and a blood orange, and too many blood orange fucking flavors flavors just taste like orange. This really does taste like that, you know, authentic fucking blood orange flavor. The passion fruit gives it a nice tropical kind of feel to it. It's zesty, it's tangy. It should go fucking perfectly with our very zesty grapefruit beer. Oh, so much tang. So much citrus. If you like a zippy fucking pairing, that is gonna give it to you. Yeah, it's just overloaded now with citrusy, lip tingling fucking flavors. Really, really nice though. Mm. Yeah, the passion fruit gives it a nice tropical element that wasn't really in the beer before. The blood orange mixing with the uh, grapefruit, just a super citrusy, really nice, very crisp, very refreshing summer pairing. So uh, we're a little bit early for this one, but still going down real fucking well. Anyway, dickheads, we're gonna jump down the up and close. We're gonna have a good squiz at uh, the Gandalf fucking pipe, and then we'll talk some pros and cons. Let's have a sticky beak. Okie fucking dokie, dickheads. This is your packaging. Your fucking cray of vape will come in. <laughs>
<laughs> it's a nice uh, cardboard box. It's quite big to fit the giant drip tip that is inside. And uh, as you can see, this guy's been doing it for quite a while, 2013. Let's see what you get inside. Well, you'll find the mod, a nice little felt baggie, a thank you card, a contact card, and this absolutely ginormous Gandalf inspired drip tip. But let's get into it. All right, here she is. Now I have the Zebrano wood edition. As you can see, these nice sort of zebra like stripes on the wood. There are a few different variations. There's a Veng, Veg, Venge or Wenge, which is like a very dark wood. Uh, there's a rosewood and there's a noya, which is sort of like a bit darker than this, but not super dark. So quite a few different woods available and they are all beautiful. So we'll start over here, I guess. You've got a uh, couple of positive and negative buttons. That's for adjusting your wattage. You've got a battery cap, which will have the Korea Vape logo or Korea Vap and a serial number engraved on there very simple you just spin her out the threads are beautifully done all stainless steel the metal bits you see there and as you can see very fine and thin uh, wood there they've really sort of minimized the uh, size of this thing and for something that takes an 18650 and it's a you know big pipe style sort of mod it's actually quite compact we might as well just chuck a battery straight in here. I've got a bit of a fucking titty wrap here from ODB. Positive end in first, and then you just thread her on. There are a couple of vent holes you can see in there, should you have a fucking problem. Uh, and there you've got your screen. If we give the button a fire, on she comes. Your fire button over here, very nicely done. Slightly recessed. So you shouldn't have any worries with it firing in your pocket. A little bit of a stainless steel border around there. And as you can see, they've matched the grain with the rest of the body. It's all going the same direction. So real attention to detail there. Recessed screen into the body of the mod. You've got your 510 connection, spring loaded, looks like it's gold plated, a little bit of branding on there, and it will accept up to a 22 millimeter atomizer. So yeah, being one of those sort of fancy uh, high-end European mods, they're kind of expecting you to put a fancy European 22 millimeter RTA or something on there. So that is what I have done, putting this up. Uh, mocha light fits real nice and i do like it with this nice sort of pipey drip tip but not the crazy candolf thing i mean we'll put it on there and show you what it looks like because obviously it does come with it but i mean it doesn't even fit on the screen <laughs> <laughs> it is an eight inch drip tip, which has the name Church Warden, a big ass drip tip. I think one of the biggest that I have seen, but you know, as they say, it's not about the length. I mean, this one isn't really fucking much in the way of the girth department. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this I think is more my style, but it's nice that it does come with uh, an appropriate crazy pipe-like drip tip. Beautiful body all the way around. We haven't had a look around here, but it's got a nice sort of pipe-like point to it. Now they do sell them, uh, as you see here, just the, the mod, but there's also the option uh, to get a support. It's like a little stand. It's got a little, you know, support here on the neck and a support at the base so you can plonk it in there and have it sitting nicely on your shelf but uh, obviously day-to-day -day use you're probably just going to lie it down like so because i mean i guess you could do that um but yeah it's uh it's a pipe it's a fucking pipe so quick look at the uh screen here it is a dna 60 so nothing new to really show you it's all been covered before in plenty of videos if you want to know more about the dna 60 there's heaps of videos out there but you've got uh, the resistance up the top there the applied voltage under there and the amps underneath that you've got your battery over the left there and you've got your wattage in 0.1 watt increments it obviously goes up to 60 watts uh, if we lock the positive and negative buttons and then we hit up we can see that they've got a few presets in there you've got your uh, nickel 200 another nickel 200 stainless steel 316 titanium uh, and then another nickel uh, and then we have you know your usual power control watts relax nickel 
and uh, no preheat nickel 200. So they've gone with the factory uh, settings for a DNA 60. Unfortunately, there is no USB port, so you can't plug it in and change those profiles, uh, which is a bit annoying. If you're gonna do no USB, then I would have said change up the profiles a little bit so that you don't have quite so much nickel because yeah, it's a bit of a nickel overload. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, DNA 60, can't argue with that. Great fucking board and a beautifully crafted mod. I mean, I gotta say, this thing is just stunningly finished. There's not a fucking mark or mistake on it. Weight-wise, you're looking at uh, 99 grams, obviously without a battery in there, so it is real nice and lightweight. And I gotta say, there's just something, you guys know, I've done a few of these pipe mod reviews in the past, and there's just something I like about the shape. It's, it's one of those sort of sit back on the couch, watch a bit of telly, and just, you know, enjoy your uh, your vape and this has just got that kind of you know relaxed ponder kind of feel to it you just sit there and perfectly positioned fire button for your uh, pointer finger just firing away and uh, enjoying the uh, the different sort of shape and ergonomics of a pipe mod so that is about it dickheads the Crea Vap or Crea Vape however you want to say it uh, Gandalf DNA Let's jump back up top, talk the pros, cons, prices, and everything fucking else. So there you go, dickheads. The Gandalf DNA, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. It's not going to be everyone's taste. But I know there's a few of you out there that do like the idea of a bit of an old school kind of feel. Uh, I've said it before, my dad used to smoke a pipe uh, when I was very young, being a fucking farmer. I have memories of him sitting on top of a tractor with a fucking pipe hanging out of his mouth. So uh, yeah, there's something kind of nostalgic and, you know, just nice. And the feeling in your hand, you know, it's just a different feel. They also do a mechanical version. There are a few, there's some 18350 versions, there's mechanical versions. So, you know, if you don't want to go for the DNA, you want something a bit more compact or you want something uh, just, you know, simple and mechanical, they also do those. But yeah, fucking nice. Just a very different sort of feel to, uh, to your vape. But let's get into the pros and cons. What do I like? What do I fucking dislike? Well, I've kind of just already covered a little bit of that. Just the feel and the shape. If you've never had one, uh, then you might be surprised when you do hold one in your hand because, yeah, there's just something different. There's something kind of relaxing about a, 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 an e-pipe sort of style device. It's a thoughtful kind of experience. Yeah, I just like it. It's a bit silly. I know you look kind of ridiculous, like what is that fucking young cunt doing with a bloody old pipe? But yeah, there's something about it that I just like. Uh, the craftsmanship is a huge fucking pro ski on this one. It is beautifully crafted. The seams, the way that the metal is fit into the wood, the fact that they've got such a, a thin, uh, you know, wood shell. Certainly don't go fucking dropping it because I don't think it's going to last too well. But yeah, just the, the craftsmanship, it's not easy to mill out uh, wood with such a, a thin profile there and then fit everything without it cracking. So uh, yeah, definitely the craftsmanship, beautiful. The inset button, the way that it matches the grain, everything is beautiful. The threads on the stainless steel, it is all just fucking top notch in terms of uh, build quality. The wood that they use, very, very nice, you know, premium fucking materials. DNA 60, of course, that's a fucking pro ski, great fucking board. And the fact that it is an 18650, but you know, it's not that big. It's a bit bigger than the old man's pipe, but uh, it's still very comfortable in the hand. It kind of just nestles nicely, the way that everything's sort of rounded and shaped. Very, very ergonomic. It does come with a drip tip to match, so you don't have to go hunt around for a ridiculous pipe-like drip tip. It's a bit too fucking long for me, um, but uh, it is nice that they do include a matching pipe drip tip. So yeah, if you're into these types of mods, you're certainly not gonna be disappointed with the way this one has been done. What do I have to complain about? Any cons? Kind of mentioned one in the up and close, no USB port so you can't change or uh, you know update your profiles on that DNA board, but not a big deal if you're like me and you're just using wattage, uh, or if you're into temp control and using stainless steel, well obviously you're all good. Um, maybe some people might want a 24 millimeter uh, platform, but again, you know, it's single 18650, 
fancy fucking pipe mod, you're probably going to be putting uh, you know a bit of a fancy 22 millimeter high end uh, RTA on here. So not really a con. Apart from that, I can't really find anything else here to fault it on. It is a beautifully fucking done. So yeah, nothing really to fucking complain about. What are they gonna set you back? Well, you know, they ain't cheap. There's not a lot of modders out there doing these sorts of mods, so they are very niche. They're using, you know, premium fucking materials like this Zebrano wood, it's got the DNA 60 in there, and it is made in France. So, you know, with those sorts of things comes a pretty hefty price tag. Uh, you are gonna be looking at 370 fucking euros for one of these, which, to be honest, compared to a Yogg's e-pipe, the German made, uh, you know, one that I had a little while back with the wireless charging and the uh, die codes board, uh, which was up around, I think, 500 euros. 370 is pretty good deal given that, you know, you're getting more mod here with a 18650, still a brilliant chip as well. So, yeah, when you compare it to some of the other high-end e-pipes on the market, it's actually fairly reasonably priced. But, I mean, if you're comparing it to something out of China, then you know, you're gonna need some dollary dues for this guy. Um, so not gonna be to everyone's fucking budget, but you know, again, this is a very niche type of fucking thing. So uh, I'll leave it there, dickheads. Fucking thoroughly enjoy these. It's nice to add another one to the collection because uh, I do, yeah, I'm, I'm silly. I like these fucking old man fucking vapes. <laughs> but uh, I'll fuck off. I'll put the usual Instagram and Facebook links down in the description if you want to see what this Muppet gets up to outside the YouTube videos. If you want to support the channel, please do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, share the video around because it always helps us vape reviewers with the shit algorithms that uh, YouTube give us. But if you really want to keep me behind the lens, then think about hitting my Patreon page. I do a special video on there once a week you won't see here on YouTube, as well as access to my little Patreon community. You can hang out myself in the Zoom room on the weekend, and we have a Facebook group, and it's a bunch of top cunts, which keep me doing my thing. So a big cheers to them. But if you can't, that's all good. Sit back, sub me fucking dicks off, or your bloody tits off. I couldn't give a shit what it is you're vaping on, whether it's a fucking silly old man pipe vape, or a regular old pod. As long as you're not banging the fucking bungers, that's all that matters. That's another pro. You can use it to fucking point things out. You know, fucking don't, 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 don't. have you fucking seen that? Do you know that you can't be fucking doing that? <laughs> Cheers for tuning in. Cheery fucking oh. G'day, you bloody dick. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. <laughs> Got something a bit fucking old school here. Bit fucking long. Bit fucking... <laughs> g'day, g'day. Called the Gandalf DNA and it's by Korea Vape. Made in fucking France, those French fucking bastards. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Got me fucking hat. Got me fucking pop. Have a fucking toot. Got, got me... Got me pipe, got, <coughs> fuck me. <laughs> got me pipe, got me fucking cap, fucking ready for a toot. Toot, toot, toot. Got the pipe, got the fucking cap. <laughs> got the pipe, got the cap, trying to assimilate in this fucking place. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Got me pipe, got me fucking cap. Cap, curb, got me cap. Canal, 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 canal. Ready for a stroll along the canal? <laughs>